Hey, hey, new week, sort of, it's Tuesday morning and new start of my diamond painting in a week video. Um, I decided to start it on Tuesday because yesterday, Monday, I was working all day from 8 till 6 and then afterwards I got home, did a workout and then went to bed. So I didn't do anything diamond painting related yesterday, which is really, really unlike me, but it happened. So... I wanted to start this week's vlog sort of off with a little whip update from a few of my whips, not all of them because I'm upstairs and only three of them are here. The other ones I will show you a little bit later. This is Call of the Sea and I did a little section part of her face just a few days ago, Sunday I believe, so I worked a little bit on that. I don't think I'm going to be working on this one this week. Then we have this one, Light of Beautitude, my crown jewel canvas where I'm using my spare drills for. And I'm actually quite happy with the progress I made on that so far. I'm not sure if I'm going to be working on this one this week either. Um, this kind of has to go on the back burner a little bit because I do need to film some videos, some ASMR videos and some... Uh, shorts because I don't have any of those left to put up so and I can't film them on this canvas yeah I can but I don't want to film them on, on this canvas because the quality isn't as good as a usual diamond painting because I'm using my spares and there's a little bit of gapping and that won't be as nice <laughs> to watch if I film a close-up video on that so that's my second whip and then over here we have one I haven't started yet. This is going to be my new project. It's called Flower Crown and it's from um, Crafties. This is a square one. I've never tried a square one from them. And the uh, kidding up of this one went up last Saturday. So if you want to go watch that, you can do that. Um, I'm trying to hold off on starting this one a little bit because as I said, I do need to film some videos first. Um, but as you all know, when you kit something up, you just want to start it. So let's see how long I can hold myself off from starting this one. But yeah, I'll probably will sometime this week, but hopefully not yet. What I'm going to do first is take a thumbnail picture for the video that I'm uploading this afternoon. So for you last Tuesday, it's my pen and tray stash. So I'm going to take a nice picture of this so I can put it in the thumbnail. Also need to take some pictures of these, some putties that we made Sunday um, for the restock of my Etsy shop. And then I'm also working on this, which are metallic drills or at least the bags for them. I need to cut the stickers and stick them on these bags. <laughs> so Probably going to work on that a little bit too today, but later when my son goes to bed, I have some time to paint. So I will try to remember to show you my other webs then. So a little bit later, I'm downstairs now and this is my fourth or actually third active whip. This is Cinderella by Molly Harrison, also from Diamond Art Club. And I'm doing this one together with my friend, Diamond Art by Nikki. We're doing four sections a week and we're on week three. I still have those three bits to do for this week. And my last whip is Where the Fun Never Ends, a very big painting, as you can see. <laughs> um, I'm about 40% in, so I think I'm going to be working on this one today and also be filming the reels I told you before on this canvas, since it's been a while that I've done that. So, talk to you later when I complete a little bit. So I'm working on this one now. I haven't finished my section yet, but I decided to film this little clip because my son is about to wake up any moment and my mom is about to get here. So I don't want to do it with them around. Um, I, working on this section, I taped off three little parts that I'm going to be filming the reels on uh, probably tonight, I think, um, unless I don't want a diamond paint button. That's not likely. Um, so yeah, I will be working on this a little bit more. 
now until either my son wakes up or my mom gets here but i wanted to show you my little setup these are all the drills over here i have my little clock i've been working on this for 36 minutes yep and this is my special drill section for the round ones that i have i'm not going to be taking them all out but this one i'm using for this painting and this one as well this one too and the and this one with a lot of colors in it i'm using the red ones out of that one also using these ones and that's pretty much it up until now um, i might use some others when i move up to the top of the painting but for now that is it i also have some bigger ones in here which i actually have never used so i need to find an application for those but yeah these are all the round special drills that I have. So the section is done. I just got it done right before my mom is about to arrive. So I'm very, very happy about that. As I said, going to film these sections tonight and then work probably on these two as well. And this took me 52 minutes. So see you again maybe tonight but i'm thinking thursday morning because tomorrow it's a work day for me again and i won't be painting maybe in the evening but maybe not at all so. here we are again it's thursday morning now as i suspected i didn't film yesterday and i also didn't paint yesterday my nights haven't been that great so i just went to bed early last night so i just wanted to show you what i got done of this on tuesday evening last time you saw this canvas i was working on this piece and just had the bits to film left and then that night i completed that section and the filming parts so i think i'm going to be working on another painting right now this one um i still have to do these three sections for this week to keep up with Nikki so uh, I think that's what I'm going to work on now but something else I am going to be doing today as well is taking a photo of these new cover minders that I made a few days ago and where the magnets on the back have dried now so I'm going to take some photos of these and these will be up in the next few weeks over on my Etsy shop not sure when yet because I already have some other ones photographed that need to go up first but these will be up at some point quick little update in between I just finished that section but what I really turned the camera on for and what I wanted to tell you is that I just bought a new painting with the Diamond Art Club um, email that they sent where you get double the amount of points I couldn't resist and um, the one I was had been waiting for for a long time which is Flower Fairy by Jamaica Murphy I think um, just came back in stock a few days ago and I was actually going to wait until Saturday if there was a new release that I also was wanting and then I would order on Saturday but there wasn't uh, up until now there wasn't a new one that I really wanted and then the double point email came so I had to order it um, I have popped a picture up on the screen so you can see what it looks like but that's the only painting I've been waiting for for such a long time so I'm happy to get that one and yeah now I'm going to hang up some washing and then go on with these sections yay I finished the two sections the three sections actually that were left for this week and um, just for your reference these two bottom sections took me exactly one and a half hours. I like keeping those kind of stats for myself. And yeah, I like keeping track of my diamond painting time now. I've been doing that for since the beginning of August. And I really, really like doing that. The first painting I did where I tracked all of my time. So where I actually know how much time it took to finish the whole painting was Huckleberry Fairy. And that one 
didn't take me nearly as long as I thought it would. I don't remember the exact amount of hours at the top of my head, but I'll put it on screen right now so you can see. And also put the size of the painting also on the screen for your reference. But this one I'm also keeping track of the whole painting and I'm very curious to know how long it takes me. Um, these last few sections over there um, did take me quite a long time because of the confetti heaviness. I'm going to show you. There are 61 colors in this painting and I believe they're pretty much all in these two sections. I really, really love those blue ABs, by the way. These so pretty. Yeah, now this painting is done for the week and we're moving on to these four sections for next week, which is exciting because the pumpkin is going to be done and also her face. Um, I also put the cover papers on my next project, which I showed you earlier, the flower crown painting. I'll pop a picture up on the screen in case you forgot what it looks like. I think I'm going to be starting that one tonight. Um, I've had enough of rounds <laughs> for a bit. The Where the Fun Never Ends is rounds and the last one, this one, is also in rounds. And I've only been doing these two for the last few days and I'm craving the square one. This one is from Crafties and I've never done a Crafties square painting before. So I'm also really, really curious to know what they're like. Um, yeah. That's it for now. I think that's it for the whole day. Or maybe I will take you along a little bit when I pack some orders later. We'll see. <laughs> Otherwise, if I don't, I'm going to be talking to you again on Saturday because tomorrow is a work day again and I won't be filming anything. I might still be painting tomorrow night, but not sure. Let's see how I feel and let's also see if my husband maybe wants to watch something with me. I'll definitely catch up with you Saturday morning and as I said maybe later today while packing orders. I'm packing the orders now and I decided to take you along a little bit. Um, this is the first order that I'm packing and this one is for Rachel. So if you're watching that would be cool. Maybe you see your own order in here. Um, she ordered quite a lot of putties and that are these are actually my favorite orders because the putties are the easiest to pack. Um, yeah, I just like it and they're homemade and I'm proud of them so I'm happy when people order them. Um, she got two samples because she ordered so many putties. This one is for Chelsea. She ordered five putties, which gives one sample and a little Hermione cover minder, which I'm also going to be packing in this just to make sure it doesn't break. And then the last order for today is from someone without a name. I think it's an apartment complex name, so I'm not going to be saying that out loud. But if this is your order, <laughs> That's cool. Um, these two last ones are from this week and last week and they're actually doing really really well as you can see because this one has two of them, one of them and over here also both of the new ones. I think people are really into the Halloween-y vibe and so am I. So I appreciate people ordering the Halloween scents. Um, they're also all going to be getting a card and also a sticker with thank you for your order. And then over here I have all the different kind of stickers that I add to the orders just at random, just as I feel like it. So I'm going to be packaging them up, sending them on their way, and that will be it for today. So here I am again, it's Saturday morning now. As I suspected, I didn't paint last night. I just watched the show with my husband after work. So here I am, ready to get started again. I just filmed the post review of this beautiful canvas, Huckleberry Fairy by Hannah Lynn from Diamond Art Club, which I finished 
a week ago or so. <laughs> I still have to finish the post review. But I did it now and that will go up sometime next week. Um, I also showed this, which I still have to de-kit, which I will also probably make a video out of. But I'm not filming it today because I don't feel like getting down right now and talking for that long. So this was also my first time using these Elizabeth Ward knockoff um, storage system and I really enjoyed it. I do kind of not like how there aren't that many containers. Um, even for this one and this painting had 57 colors and there's only 50 of the containers in there so you have to have a kit with 50 or less colors. But yeah, I did like how it worked otherwise. On Thursday night I did start the new painting The Flower Crown by Crafties and I only did a little bit because I worked out again before I started painting. Um, this is all I did and, and now I'm going to be working on this piece. I already taped off a little bit which I'm going to be using for filming an ASMR video because I'm a little bit behind on those. Not, not behind but I don't have one filmed yet for next Thursday so if you're seeing this video for in two days I still have to film that and edit that and get that up. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm first going to be painting around it and then going to film that part as an ASMR. So, um, first impressions on this canvas, <laughs> the quality of the canvas and the drill field and all that kind of stuff is awesome, but I'm not too big of a fan of the drills, at least the colors I've had up until now are pretty trashy. Not trashy per se, but they do have quite a bit of holes in the top and I picked <laughs> them out as best as I could, but when I looked at it afterwards, I don't know if you can see it like this. I can't spot one right now, but I did see a few with holes in them that I still placed. I'm not going to be picking them off because I hate doing that and it's going to be fine. It's just fine. <laughs> I also don't really like how much confetti is in here, but I knew that going in, so I'm not going to complain about that too much. Um, but I do really like how they fit together and yeah, there's not too much gapping, so that's a good thing. But I'm going to work on this one now and then talk to you later today. I finished that section that I was showing you this morning. This little part that I had left uh, surrounding the part that I taped off. I painted that part first then filmed that one ASMR style and then I did one more section. Um, I'm really curious to see how her skin tone will turn out, most of all. Um, I think this is the beginning part of her skin tone, which is really, really orange brownie. Um, I know she's she has a colored skin tone, um, but I'm curious to see how that will turn out. Um, tonight we're going to be making putty for my Etsy shop and then I will probably be working on that next section in between. Um, yeah, I'll update you in the morning, tomorrow, Sunday morning, the last day of this video. It's Sunday morning now and last night I painted, as I suspected, <laughs> that part of this painting. The bottom row is almost done and I think I'm going to be completing it tonight and also maybe a little bit of that section, but I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I don't have too much time or really not any time at all <laughs> today during the day to paint, so I'm going to be closing out this video soon, but I first wanted to talk about the color of her skin tone a little bit since I said in the last clip that I was curious to see how it would turn out. Um, that part was done in the last clip and now her whole arm is done. I will pop the picture up of the original one more time so you can compare but it looks good but I think it's a bit 
orange <laughs> i think it's going to turn out when i when i'm done with our face and stuff um i think it's going to turn out quite orangey but when i look at it from a distance i think it looks pretty good um, last night while i painted we also made these new putty scent and tonight we're going to be making one other new putty scent um i think it's pumpkin latte that will one will be coming out tomorrow and this one will be coming out on monday so yesterday for you if you're watching this video so that will do it for this week's i'm painting in a week video um, I'm not going to be updating again on Monday because I have to work then and I want to edit this video today. Um, hope you enjoyed it again. If you did, please like this video and leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I hope you have an amazing day. See you next time. Bye.